The late John Lennon is featured on the Beatles' most recent song, Now and Then, which was published recently. The Beatles sang a song together in their final song, both audio and video. Here are a few fascinating details on the song, Now and Then. Number one. A song by John Lennon. Now and Then is an unfinished song from John Lennon's demo cassette tape, which was first recorded in 1979, according to Cheat Sheet. Only Lennon's piano and voice are heard on the demo. Some parts of the lyrics are still lacking, even if the majority of them are full. As with the song Real Love, there are rumors that McCartney will finish the lyrics. Number two. Paul McCartney makes use of AI. When Sir Paul McCartney revealed that AI was used in the song, the fans took offense. The belief among fans is that John Lennon's voice was mimicked by AI. But drummer Ringo Starr clarified in a Rolling Stone Music Now podcast that the song did not feature Lennon's synthesized voice, who passed away in 1980. Ringo made it clear that the Beatles would never impersonate John Lennon using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, AI, was utilized to isolate Lennon's vocal, his piano, and the extraneous hisses and background noises. This is the same technique that Peter Jackson used to restore the video that became his epic 2021 documentary, The Beatles, Get Back the hand ringing over the Beatles using AI to help them write and sing songs. This isn't some zombie AI Lennon writing and singing a song from scratch. Number three. He was rejected by George Harrison. The Beatles surviving members completed and released the songs Free as a Bird in Real Love in 1995. The two tracks are cleaned and remixed demo recordings by John Lennon. McCartney and Ringo decided to work on Now and Then while collaborating on these two tunes. Nevertheless, George Harrison disliked the song. Therefore, this plan was not executed. George's death in 2001 occurred only 22 years after the song Now and Then was composed. Still, Now and Then features the signature slide guitar sound that is associated with George Harrison. Number four. Yoko Ono gives a demo. The surviving Beatles members were unaware that John Lennon had multiple unreleased song demos until 1994. McCartney convinced Lennon to accept the honor during the January 1994 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony. Yoko Ono, Lennon's spouse, served as his representative. Unexpectedly, Ono provided four demo recordings of Lennon's songs at that time. Grow Old With Me, Free As A Bird, Real Love, and now and then are the four. Next, McCartney showed George and Ringo the demo. Number five. The final words of John Lennon to McCartney. There were ups and downs on the two friends' adventure. There were rumors that the two were at odds with each other when the Beatles broke up. Nonetheless, they resumed communication in the years preceding John Lennon's passing. Carl Perkins claims that one of John Lennon's final remarks to Paul McCartney was now and then.